Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Dwarf Fortress, shall we? Just checking in on our folk, and we completed 10 spears. So it's time to start arming our dwarves more readily so that they can deal with these horrifying birds and we have less deaths. These kind of things happen, and especially if you have some of your fortress outside. Now, really, we're going to eventually not be coming outside that much, especially once we finish this wall. Uh, but this is where we're at right now, is that there are bad guys all over there. So we need to start thinking about building armor and weapons and maybe even getting a militia or at least like one or two soldiers that can respond to an attack. So I get to, uh, you can see the giant sparrows are coming at us. Uh, the outpost, yep, we got the outpost. We traded with the outpost, and um, they can't give water because of the giant sparrow. Uh, we can't make pig iron bars because we need flux stones. Okay, so that's fine. And the animals have grown, and we made a masterpiece hatch cover. So I get to kind of teach myself um, how exactly do we, you know, uh, do the militia aspect of the game again. It's been a while. I know you, we can build training rooms uh, and all that kind of fun stuff, and that's just part of the progress. They are, uh, hopefully we can build some more coffins. And uh, do I have any? We don't have one yet. Okay, so we need to finish the coffin before we get that done. All right, let's go. So we got to bury all these dwarves in this tomb that we're making. And I think also, uh, have I set this up? Yeah, this is going to be my temple. So we've hashed out this area to make a giant, fantastic temple. All of these people who have been injured are down here. Uh, do we have... We do have a chief medical dwarf, right. And so... The chief medical dwarf uh, would normally be tending to people, uh, and they are tending to people. Or they will, eventually. And I think that what I need to do is just uh, remove the orders to smooth, because I don't think that they can smooth um, a lot of the the clay stone they can't really smooth the clay stone so i'm just going to remove those orders all right and see how they do okay that's going well the hospital is working the traction benches are installed we do have chests um and hopefully you know you can look in these things uh to see if they've you know moved any of yep um, they've got buckets and splints, so they are moving medical supplies here, thread, things that they need for uh, patching people up. And, and we traded for a bunch of that stuff as well. So hopefully once we unload the caravan, you could see like we still have um, some stuff to mo unload from the caravan, basically. Okay. There's a chinchilla in there. Um, I need somebody to um, release the chinchilla. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I can't remember what the command is to do that. I don't need the chinchilla in there. Okay. That's funny. Yeah, and there's like a... Something is in there as well. I, I don't... That could be a person for all I know. Um, so here's the cage. So I can view uh, in the cage trap. It's just part of the cage trap. Oh, okay, right. Uh... Okay. 
It could be a body. All right. So the other thing I want to do is um, we finished the rock covers. Good. This dude became a farmer. That's great. Um, oh, we need gems. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a travesty. Um, let me check my work orders for gems. Cut gems. Yeah, so somebody's doing it, but we need more gems. So let's see where my people are digging. Oh, there's a lot of people who are digging. Yeah, they're going to get gems eventually. No problem. Gosh, look at that food. It's, it's so wonderful to see when you have like 500 food, 300 drink. Actually, let me check my farm. Oh, resume construction on that. Fix that. What happened there? Maybe they ran out of stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of unhappy people. Dwarves. That's a shame. There's some people who, like, most people are meh or better. But we do have, you know, almost half of the population is eh. A couple of people are furious. So, those could be injured people, though. Dwarves, which is, you know, understandable. All right. So, I'm going to go into my... Um, Dwarven screen, and I'm going to just see, okay, here's my peeps, and why don't we start checking your items, okay, so you've got a purring maggot leather coat, you've picked up a plump helmet, you're doing some farming, I'd like to, um, you know, this is the military tab, so like I could build a squad and assign people to it. Oh, we got some migrants. We did. We got four people. Great. Um, so that's going to help us out as well in terms of getting a lot of these tasks that we have done. Oh, look at this. You see these swords dwarves? These are from the caravan. So luckily, while the caravan is here, uh, they're up there like fighting off any of these um, mean dwarves, or, uh, mean birds that are attacking our people. So, this is good. Like, if we could kill the bird population before it becomes more serious, that would be fantastic. But in the meantime, I want to go and, uh, let me think about this. Oh, did another caravan arrive? No. That's just back when it did arrive. Okay. Alright. So, we're finally making great progress on logs. I assigned a ton of trees to be caught down because we got behind on logs, but I think that they're filling up the stockpile. They're doing a terrific job with that. You can see how much they prioritize hauling uh, in terms of the hierarchy of jobs to do. Alert. What is this? Um, yeah. Yeah, the bard has been found dead. Let me see. Um, giant sparrow again. It's unbelievable. They're still out here. They're fighting the giant sparrows as we speak. So this is where I'm going to need to equip people with spears and maybe make some military people. So in order to equip our dwarves, um, we're going to need to make a squad. 
And so you push Q to open up the squad menu. And because um, it's my first time doing it, this game and I've got tutorials turned on, pops up up here. It says squads. This is the squad menu. Here you can create squads, fill their positions, assign equipment and schedules, and give specific orders. So we're going to make a squad just to fight off stuff like this. And we'll say okay. But to make a squad, um, we have to promote a militia commander. Now I'm going to go to the noble screen to do that. You can see it's vacant. But the cool thing is the militia commander requires has no room requirements. Unlike the, the sheriff, which has like a million. So um, nobody here has any relevant skills for being a militia commander, sadly. But that's okay. Like, we'll figure it out. Um, so like this guy, I'm just going to top of the list. You, you've been up jumped to becoming the militia commander. Congratulations. And we're then going to close the noble screen. And we're going to create a new squad. And, you know, we want them to wear the best that we have. Uh, wait, create a new squad, metal armor. Um, oh, this, uh, this is the wrong squad. I don't want this one. Uh, no, no, no. That's their name. No, uh, here, wait a minute. Change the symbol, view the leader sheet. Oh, this is this menu. This like interactive squad panel is totally new to me with the Steam version. Um, I'm going to uh, back to squads. The brown gates is hilarious. I mean, we have a brown wall, so that's fine. But uh, here, let me um, delete the squad. Uh, yeah, disband that squad. And then disband that squad. Let me start from the back. Okay. So choose which squad. Um, this one. And we're going to go metal armor. The gilded spears. That, now that sounds great. We have spears. And we're going to then um, view the positions. So we're going to assign some people uh, to this job. Nobody has relevant skills um, at all for fighting because nobody's trained. So I'm just going to pick people uh, that don't aren't doing anything at the moment. Like, peasant, you're in. And I don't want any of my nobles in this or anybody. Peasant, you're in. Uh, who has, like, a position or does something important. Performer, you're in. Oh, they were a novice fighter. Oh, competent mace dwarf. I don't know why it's telling me, like, it's sorting... I just assumed it was sorting with skills at the top, but it's not. So let's look for anybody who's good at fighting. Um, adequate Spear Dwarf. Good God, you're in. It's going to be a big squad because I need strength in numbers. I have nobody. So uh, Chief Binnacle Dwarf, though, however, can go in. Uh, the Miner, the Mace Dwarf, yeah, you can go in. Uh, the Stone Worker can go in. The... The sacred luxury certainly can't go in. We don't want the priest running into battle and dying. We need that position filled. So just pick people. The lie maker, that must be a new person. Okay, that's good. So we have an, a squad of eight for now. That is totally fine. And we're going to go uh, back to squads. And they're off duty. Is That's their routine. But what we can do is uh, back to squads change the squad's symbol. No, that's actually very noticeable. Okay, and I'm going to go select a squad, and I'm going to select this guy. Uh, done. And what we're going to do is, I don't want to change the position. Select a squad or squad member to give orders, uh, change equipment, and assign schedules. Okay, so what I can do then is uh, just, can I select them from this? Oh yeah, here we go. So I select it with a check mark, and then we're going to go to um, defend the burrow. That's fine. Um, a kill order. That's even better. Uh, equip. Here we go. So we're going to equip people with weapons. And uh, we don't have any metal armor, sadly, but we do have spears. So we're just going to give... Um, yeah, metal armor is fine, but we don't have it. But uh, I want people to wear um, 
individual choice. No, no, no. You're going to get um, an assigned item. Um, new weapon. Yes. So we have all these spears. So the gilded spears. This is complicated now. And I have to tell you, I haven't made a squad in a long time, and I haven't assigned them in this Steam menu. So uh, you're learning with me as I'm doing this, and any advice about, you know, making this more efficient uh, or anything I'm getting wrong would be fantastic from you uh, fantastic dwarf fortress, uh, fortress veterans. But so I have, you know, I'm saying like any metal footwear is fine. And we need to make new armor, which is okay. Um, I don't want exact matches only. I'm, I'm just saying any spear is okay. And then that's position one. Okay, confirm. And details. Uh, we're going to go new weapon and we're going to go spear. And uh, I'm going to give them the choice, I guess. But... Uh, In case they're, like, already good... No, let's just give them spears. Confirm. And I wonder if you could do it for, like, the whole squad. You know, you don't have to do it position by position, but it does make sense. Like, if you have... You might want to, like... I like to have some archers jump some people, like, you know, uh, with bows and stuff like that. So I'm going to go new weapon, and I'm going to go spear. And we're going to confirm. But I am going to, like, these people in the back, I am going to just give them crossbows. I don't know if I even have um, crossbows, but I'm planning for the future that I want them. I don't even know if I have bolts, but uh, we're going to go for it. And then um, confirm. And then you, uh, I need you to get a spear. Confirm what you got. Get yourself a spear. Confirm. Are you set? No. What about you? Okay, good. And then um, I'm actually going to uh, cancel the orders for the moment. Uh, we don't need to be doing anything. But now... Um, actually, what I, I'm going to wait for them to get equipped. Is this... Um, is this thing dead? It's exhausted, it's bleeding, it's injured. So what you can do is actually just give a kill order. And you can give this target. Um, and I'm going to give both of these birds as targets. I'm going to be like, confirm. Now let's see how the, our people do. Let's see if they come kill these things. And so you can see in the squad panel on the right, the Gilded Spears have a kill order for the Giant Sparrow. They've come over... And we're going to just see what happens. Um, I want to see how many of my people in my squad actually uh, have their weapon. Some of them do. Some of them do have weapons. There's no crossbows, but they do have spears, the, the spear people. Alright, so they killed, they killed them. So you see that? Look, this guy's got a spear. Sweet. This is one of my favorite things about Dwarf Fortress, is just, like, when they actually do the command that you requested. Like, I told them, okay, go get a spear, you're in the army now, you've been recruited, and go for it. And then they came and, like, kill these things, and they did it. And so now they can just go back to doing whatever, because the job is done. So, at this point, um, you can see that, like, these people become, they go back to being whatever when they're done with their job of becoming whatever. Uh, so this person has been found dead, which is true and sad, um, but we cleared it out. So we went, we got some migrants. We, we gained four, lost one, you know, um, and that's okay. And what we're going to do now is go about the business of building a training room so that our people can get better using spears so we have the temple over here so let's go down and uh it doesn't make sense to me well you know what it is it's like i don't want stuff to be on this z level very much 
yeah, I'll put it right here on the bedroom level. The idea is I want the people to, if they're training my squad, like I want them to be able to very easily uh, come join the battle. All right. And I'm going to close the squad panel. I don't need that open for now. But I want to get some orders. So I don't have a lot of materials, but I'm going to get these orders like queued up. So we're going to make a new order uh, for a crossbow. Uh, and it could be like copper crossbow. No, just wooden crossbow. Um, bone crossbow. Yeah, give me some wooden crossbows. I could make steel crossbows, but I want my metal for the armor. So I'm going to say just make 10 wooden crossbows. Uh, and you really don't need to make that many. Like, five is fine. And then I'm going to push this up. And just have... Now, sometimes what I like to do, you could have, like, a, a couple of squads. You could have a squad that's just archers, and then a squad that's melee or whatever, if you want to do, like, you know, more tactical positioning. But that, in my experience, that's kind of difficult to actually pull off. So... I, it, we have a small army, so I can just put them in one squad. But as we grow, we might need to go bigger. Um, all right, so iron armor. Um, iron uh, breastplate. Yeah. Like, make um, ten iron breastplates, yep. And then uh, copper helmet. Yep, make me ten of those. And that's just predicated on, like, what metals I think I have. Let me go down to my mining stuff and see what we actually have around. Like, how many bars we've got. We have some iron bars here. So we'll be able to make a little bit. Here's our iron spears. Here's the iron pick. Here's an anvil. Um, but we need more... Um, we need more iron bars. We need more pig iron and stuff. So for that, we need flux stone. So we're going to have to keep uh, digging and looking for that specifically. But we have a lot of jobs that are going on. We could start trading for that with the next caravan if we want to. So we can see before the caravan leaves. They're packing up right now. Um, if, like, I'll, I'll just, anyone requested a depot, I'll see if they have any... Um, Marble, limestone, dolomite, chalk, calcite, anything I can use as a flux stone. Dwarven caravans are going to have better stuff than the elves. Um, but here. Uh... Oh, there's no merchants trading. Well, then, sorry about that. I thought because I saw the stuff still there. But no, the issue is uh, we just have to unpack all this stuff. Honestly, though, there's a copper shield. There's a bronze cap. Like, once they unpack this, our uh, our dwarves should start equipping that metal armor, of regardless of what it is, because it's just metal armor that should fill the squad. Like, I'm going to click on the squad, and I'm going to just check out... Yeah, look, some people actually have uh, some stuff. Like, look at this dude. This guy has a bronze cap, a bronze breastplate, a copper shield, and an iron spear. Like, this dude is ready to rock, which is fantastic. So, we're ragtag right now. We don't have everything that we need, but we're going to get there. We need more gems. We need flux stones. Uh, we need gems. Giant sparrow. Where? Show me. Um, where is it? It's going down. Show me where that sparrow is. Axe Dwarf? Now, I was under the impression that... Is this person... What is this person? Astesh and Orber. Let me look at my squad. No, yeah, these are from the caravan. The caravan must just be packing up or something. Because that person isn't my axe dwarf. Like, I'm like, who is that? They're just getting ready to leave, I think. Yeah, there's their stuff. They might have got stuck here. 
I don't know. I mean, it's good to have them. Let me see where these birds are. Um, Bormek, where are you? Militia commander? Yeah, right. Okay. All right, so I'm going to tell you something that's hilarious, and it's very Dwarf Fortress, unless they've changed it. If we want to take, like, this chinchilla, um, or is there a wheelbarrow trapped in that? No, I don't know what's in that. If you want to take something out of a cage that you trap, uh, some animal or whatever it is that you trap in your cage trap, you actually have to build the cage somewhere else, or a new cage, and then link it to a lever and pull the lever to release it. So it's incredibly complicated, uh, but that's how we have to do it. So we're going to need to build a space for that. I'm going to unpause it. And I'm going to make sure that uh, nobody else is getting attacked. I don't see anything happening. So we'll need to build a place that's like animal release room for animals that we are okay releasing. I remember I did this thing. I think I might have told you guys about this. But at one point... I built this archery training place where it was like a room that had a drawbridge going into an island that had been completely, like the floor had been completely taken out all the way around this island. And then the, there was a retractable drawbridge that went to it. And I would put cages there with goblins and stuff that I had trapped in my cage trap. And then you could pull a lever that would pull the drawbridge back so that the goblin can never get out of the... Um, they can't... Enemies can't fall down off of a cliff. Uh, so they're stuck on the island, and it opens the cage, and the goblin comes out, and it's stuck on the island. And then in, an, in a wall next door, I had built uh, crenellations, which are like the kind of archery slits that people can shoot through, and they could just train on live targets... Uh, shooting the goblins and they they were under no danger at all it was pretty hilarious i'd love to get something like that going again that's like when you're really really far and you have all of the time and the items you know arrows bolts levers uh you know that that level of technology um let's see so there's a copper shield there's a copper pick there's a copper mace like there's a bunch of great stuff here they're just not unloading it they are. It's, it's just happening slowly. Now, this um, iron breastplate, like, we totally made the iron breastplate. Ooh, we finished all the statues, and we finished the me mechanisms. Okay, great. So now it's time to get nuts and start building some statues. Statues are, like, I've, I think I've also said to you, they're one of my favorite things. Uh, I put them everywhere as decoration to make a place look awesome. Like, you come into my um, world and you see statues. Like, this is a fancy, awesome area. So you're going to see some stuff. And these cheer people up like the dwarves love it. All right, there they go. So they'll put these in. They'll reset all of these cage traps that they can. I'm going to build some more. Uh, we're going to go cages, and we're going to build um, traps, and it's going to be cage trap here, 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 here. Um, building present. Oh, okay, good. We got it. That's fantastic. Yeah. I'm building a ton of these, by the way, and I don't mind having too many. It, sometimes they don't trigger the trap when the enemies walk over it, so I want to give them the opportunity. Now right, we got plenty of wood. Oh, wait, somebody's fighting. Go to it. Where? Where is this? Oh, no, that's not right. Here, go to this one. Are you hitting my people, bird? Oh, no, it's fighting a firefly. Okay, shoo. I'm like, don't you fight my people. 
My dwarves don't like it. Oh my god, look at this statue. It looks like it's a Yeti. Microline statue of... I mean, give me the details on this. Aretha... Uh, this is a statue of Aretha Languished Boils. Oh, the defective syrup. The item is a superiorly designed image of Aretha Languished Boils, the defective syrup, the Yeti. It is a Yeti. And tamed Sable Reeves, the human, in Microline. Oh, my God. It, the Yeti tamed a human? Tamed Sable Reeves is striking down Languished Boils. Wow. You killed Languished Boils? That's impressive. Look at all these statues. You see how quickly those got put in? Oh, this looks awesome. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. This is a detailed claystone floor. So they can detail it. Maybe they can't smooth it, but maybe they can engrave it. I'm going to give an order for this. Um, can you engrave this instead? Oh, no, it's got to be smoothed first. Well, I wonder why, like, our people never smoothed it. Like, I gave that order a million years ago. I might have to... Um, sometimes if you can't get a job done you basically just have to start making people specialists where that's all they'll do. And I used to play Dwarf Fortress that way. It was just the way of it. Where, like, you would have this thing on the screen where it told you idlers. And you would know if a job was completed based on how many idlers you had. And what I mean by that is, like, I would say, okay, all you do is mine. And then if I had three idlers, I would know, oh, my three miners... They ran out of jobs to do, so I need to assign them some new tasks. But this new Dwarf Fortress where people can do all sorts of labor more easily and you have very few idlers, it is taking me a second to kind of adjust the balance and equilibrium of how I want to distribute my labor. They're smoothing it. Look at this. Now they're smoothing it. I don't know what it was. Maybe I assigned that job and they suspended construction or something and I didn't realize it, but now they're doing it. So fantastic. Oh my god, it looks so good smoothed. I love it. Are you smoothing the tomb? Oh, they did smooth the tomb. Okay, can we build some coffins? Oh my god, yes we can. Look at that. Alright, we're going to then engrave it this tomb has got to be nice. Okay, perfect. And then, um, hopefully, all of these... Uh, I mean, somebody should be buried here. Like, why is nobody in that? Oh, oh, okay. There's somebody in there. The, the lid. We just didn't put the lid on. Oy. That's an open casket. I don't know about that. You got to put a lid on that casket. Goodness gracious. Okay, engraver is here. Yes. All right, then engrave this. Yeah, something just messed up. Make it look amazing. Do it. Fancify this place. Smooth all of it. Whatever you can. Engrave everything that you can. Make that temple nicer for now. Okay, great. And then, you know what else? It's time. I mean, I go hog wild with it which is that we're going to smooth the entire entryway, like the whole opening hallway, uh, if possible. See, some of it you can't smooth because it's like um, the loam you can't smooth. But whatever you can smooth, we smooth it. We engrave it because we want to lift the spirits of the dwarves. We want them to be like, feel that they live in a fantastic place and that they're thrilled with the prospect and so by really, really, put, I mean, I put statues everywhere. I smooth and engrave everything. I make this like the Ritz, like every floor of this cave system needs to be the Ritz. Look at this hospital. It's really coming along. All right, this is not coming along. Um, we engraved a masterpiece. I mean, see, and you engrave a masterpiece and then you just have random dwarf like walk by the engraved masterpiece and they will observe it and then they will just be happy. They'll be like, this is great. 
I'm so glad that I saw that. Did somebody put on that armor, by the way? Not yet. I might need to make the squad and tell the squad to go do something before they... Uh, they're smoothing it. Before they put on the armor, but we're making armor. So let me look down and see some of these deeper floors. This is microline, which is good. Claystone, siltstone. Let me look. For, I'm just looking for flux to see if we found any. This is all microline. All right, let's go deeper. Yeah, we haven't actually got to this floor yet. Okay. So in order to smooth out my labor, I might very well need to start making uh, specialized peeps. Be like, all you do is mine. All you do is this. Smoothing as high priority. They stopped everything to smooth it, but look how fantastic this entryway now looks. Oh my goodness, just beautiful. The hospital's done, so I'm going to set it to engrave. While you're recovering, you can examine the fine artwork and feel wonderful. That's just where we're at. Oh, apparently you can build a cage and then unassign the animal and then get them out. So either way, I'd have to build a new empty cage and then transfer the animal, I think. Okay. So this whole hallway is done. Just about. They've smoothed everything that they can smooth, I think. They did it. So now we can just set this entire entryway to engrave. Like, make it awesome. Whatever you can, do it. Uh, let's see. This guy became a stone cutter. They made all the helms and breastplates. Like, I had enough metal to churn out that. Okay. So let me look at my squad really fast. And let me just check their equipment. Yep, look at this. That's why, because they all have the breastplates. So now we need pants and we need shields for all of these dwarves, as well as uh, boots and gloves. So I'm going to go um, order. And we're going to go um, iron boot. Uh, or... Okay, iron buckler is fine. Just make 10 of those. And then iron gre uh, greaves. And then iron um, gauntlet. I'm going iron because I just assume it's stronger than uh, copper. But if we run out, I can make copper. I did copper just because I figured I had the extra of it. And it's better than nothing. Alright. <laughs> the caravan is like, it got stuck here. I don't know why they're still here. Or at least part of the caravan got stuck here. Maybe they couldn't go out the main doorway. And so they tried to come out here, but there's no way for them to leave. This could actually be a problem. If, if they can't get home, I don't know if they'll send another caravan. I don't know if it's going to become an issue or not. Um... But they got in here. I don't know why necessarily they aren't leaving. Like, these mechanisms aren't blocking them, are they? Sh this is a three-tile expanse. This should be easy for them to get out of. The traps are there, but unless... Maybe if, like, the river flooded or something and they can't get back over it to leave? I don't know what happened. You know, anything could happen. But, hey, we've got some free protection. And if these animals die then all of the goods from the caravan could potentially be inherited by us. I don't know how this works out. We're starting the engraving process. Oh, uh-oh. Um, this guy claimed the Craftsdorf's workshop. Let me see how this goes. We got to watch out for this. All right, so he wants... You could see the item maybe that he wants. 
Oh, I think he found some of the stuff that he wants. Okay, he wants plant cloth and he needs cut gems. Okay. So we got to get the guy cut gems immediately. And plant cloth we should easily have. Rock. Plant cloth. Cut gems. Uh, oh, God. Okay, this could be a problem. So we might have to lock this guy in here if we don't have what he needs. Yeah, this is where the mugs are going. So... Well, we'll have to see if we can get this dude gems and plant cloth. That should be possible, but in the meantime, uh, we might have to uh, forbid these doors until we can solve the problem. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure it out. Everyone, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your tips from people who have lots of Dwarf Fortress experience and more experience than I do with the Steam version. Getting into some really, uh, you know, some more involved stuff, and I'm having a blast with the game. I hope you're still enjoying this series, and I will check you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.